Number five, index funds. Now this is the most traditional of investments and it is definitely necessary to mention. Up until now, we've been covering how you can expand your network, make sure your mindset is primed, maybe get some extra income with a side hustle or just completely going full on with a business. At this point, if you're successful, you're probably making some money. With that money, you have to do something. Otherwise, it just sits there in your account and inflation will take it over. So one of the things and the most traditional and safest investments that you can do is index funds. Historically, they've been proven to outcompete inflation, which means that you will still keep a growing nest egg as you're building your side hustle or your business. One of the most common ones is Vanguard, and I've had great experience with that. The thing that I will mention for Europeans, which is something I had to learn from experience, is do not go investing into the US dollar stock market if you're operating in euros, because you will have to deal with the volatility of the US dollar coin as well. So one of the things that I used to do is even though Vanguard has performed what all the greats have been saying it would do, the dollar had not competed well with the euro. And so overall, I would break even with inflation instead of making profit. So when you're choosing an index fund like a Vanguard, choose an index fund within your country or continent so that you use the same currency. That alone will give you some stability. And considering index funds are traditional investments, you also want a stable currency. The next one is a little bit for young entrepreneurs, which obviously includes me as well. I've had to learn from my mistakes. At this point, if you're building a business and you have some stable income and some stable passive income coming through index funds, you probably want to think about when you grow old. When you become an entrepreneur, you tend to not think about this. Actually, up until your first 100K revenue, you'll probably not think about it at all. But it's very important that once you start hitting certain numbers, I would argue even 20 or 30K revenue a year, you should start thinking about retirement funds. There are tax incentives, which you can discuss with a CPA or an accountant. And if you have a great accountant, he or she will tell you what you should be doing so that you can deduct the maximum amount of that year and pay less tax. The good thing is that by the time you retire, you will still have something on the side. Again, I don't recommend this if you don't have proper profits yet, but if it's been already three plus years in the business, you really should start considering. If you're exceeding 30K revenue, this is already something that you should start looking at it, of course, depending on the margins of your business. So retirement funds, Google how it works in your country, but every country has a tax incentive to create a retirement fund for yourself if you're an entrepreneur. The next one is individual stocks. Now, the most popular one currently, of course, is Tesla. Tesla has gained a significant advantage over the years. I've invested myself. It was pretty crazy what was happening. At one point, I just pulled out, so I'm not invested in Tesla anymore. But yeah, individual stocks can give you a massive profit. But honestly, like many people say, it is a risk. And I'll tell you a story that actually shapes that. Because when I hear stories about it is a risk, I don't actually understand what it means until somebody gives me a story. So here's my story. I did invest in Tesla and I cashed out 15% over, which is technically my rule for traditional investments in individual stocks. I invest 15% over, I pull my money out. I wait until it drops and then I invest again. However, one of these investments was Alibaba. I thought that it would be the next Amazon and I put in my money. However, that was before Jack Ma suddenly vanished. And so even though I had put my money and I had all my hopes up, suddenly we got the news that Jack Ma vanished and nobody heard of him. And Alibaba has not recuperated since. So with a loss about, I think 20% in, I just pulled out because it just kept going down and could not recuperate. And I'm so happy I did because it went down 50 plus percent. And so I could have lost much more money on that stock. And that's what people mean when they say individual stocks are much more high risk than index funds. Now the next one is crypto trading with stable coins, not altcoins. What's the difference? Well, stable coins are the popular ones to make it really easy. Bitcoin, Ethereum, and maybe a couple other ones. I would argue that Bitcoin is a great investment. Ethereum has so much going on and people are paying so much gas fees that you really can't go wrong with either or. So if you're interested in investing, even though Bitcoin tends to go down currently, it might be great to get in. There isn't much more that will be created and it's gonna probably gain in value as it grows. 
Traditionally, Bitcoin has outperformed an index fund. The risk is higher, as we can see with some of the winters, like when I stepped in in 2017, I remember, it went down for three years. Now it's going down again. So there's a lot of risk involved. But over time, if you time it right, there's a much higher potential for it than index funds. And because people know them and a lot of small countries are adapting these stable coins so that their currency doesn't get devalued compared to the US dollar, it could be an interesting opportunity to invest.